It's time to say goodbye to you, Central Hall, Indian Parliament's most sociable, memorable space. I'll miss you, Central Hall. Sandwiched between the two houses, Rajya Sabha on one side, the Lok Sabha on one side, you, along with the rest of the magnificent Parliament building, were born almost 100 years ago, 1927. And after originally dressing you up as a library for two decades, they transformed you into the Constituent Assembly Hall in 1946. You are without doubt the most hallowed hall in the nation. Yes, you've hosted joint sittings of both houses, addresses by the president after a general election and the opening ceremony for new sessions. Now when parliament is, is in session, you, my dearest Central Hall, have been the hub for all of us MPs, the 543 members of the Lok Sabha, the 245 members of the Rajya Sabha, and sometimes our spouses, our parents, our children, drop by for occasional visits. Former members of parliament are always welcome. And occasionally, very occasionally, the Chief Minister pops in to say hi. As a parliamentarian, I found no better partner for fellowship, for socializing, for sharing thoughts, and for even breaking barriers. You've helped me overcome ideological differences You've aided in off-the-record chats, sharing perspectives, and of course, the most popular item you've always served up, gossip. The only witness to these conversations, and now memories, were the reverse-bladed vintage pedestal fans, which whirled as silent spectators. This is my ode to my beloved Central Hall. You've always been an inviting, expansive space, always smartly turned out in polished wood. And I must say you've always had your own idea of time. Walk in to meet you at 10 in the morning, but your time clock says 10 in the morning is actually dawn. Saunter in at 10.30 for a quick coffee that will still qualify at 10.30 as an early bird entry. True. Very few MPs visit you every morning before the day's session begins. However, our favorite hall is almost houseful when both the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha are often adjourned. Adjourned simultaneously for one hour or so and Central Hall is packed. Just the right opportunity for members to catch up, and to share political news or personal news with each other, distribute Mithai for Mishti for the births of grandchildren or hand out wedding cards or convey condolences or update phone books and so much more. This usually happens on a hot subject when Central Hall is packed, right? News 
channels, ticker on a controversial ruling by one of the presiding officers. There's so much to talk about when you're sitting in Central Hall. Something about you, Central Hall, always reminds me of a large college canteen. Drop the put-ons, unshackle one's thoughts, and just as it didn't matter in college, who was majoring in economics or English, in Parliament's most magical space too, you created bonds to last a lifetime. When Parliament is not in session, I'm sure you must be thoroughly bored. No chatter, no coffee, no cacophony. All the action and the animated discussion take place only for about 70 to 75 days every year. Pity. The unwritten maxim overriding all the conversations in your presence is not to make private parlays public. Just like what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. The same stands true with Central Hall. What happens in Central Hall stays in Central Hall. Almost always. You've had your favourites. One such parliamentarian was Arun Jetli. Arun Jetli was a pillar, both of Parliament and Central Hall. In addition to being the chief charioteer at the midnight promulgation of the major but hurriedly and poorly executed GST reform, in 2017, he had regular informal meetups in your precincts. These are now part of folklore. Members across the ideological divide, I remember, and senior journalists who obtained those rare as gold dust passes of course, nowadays, journalists have been banned from even entering Central Hall for the last few years, and that's unfortunate. So those journalists would walk in and listen to the articulate lawyer-turned-politician. From simplifying complicated legal jargon in bills to tips on where to acquire the best Kashmiri shawls, from spinning his party out of awkward reportage to masala gossip. Mr. J, as we called him, was classic Mr. J. In my first few years in Parliament, if you ask me to name one person in my first few years who personified Parliament, 360 degrees, even though I didn't agree with his ideology, it would be Arun Jetli. Another member whose nature and stature made him a charmer was Amit Bhai, Amit Patel, or just AP. Being the political secretary to the Congress president, Amit Bhai knew how to work the phones outside parliament and how to win friends and influence people inside parliament. By his own admission, I think, oratory was not his core skill, but he was very much the master of the engine room. Amit Patel was easy to access, strategically low profile and politically astute. From 2004 to 2014, he fired on all cylinders. Even after 2014, when he was in the opposition, he had an easy way of building bridges across party lines. 
whether he did this over chai in Central Hall or over savory snacks at his bungalow on 23 Mother Teresa Crescent, where he lived. I'm sure you miss them both dearly, Mr. Jetley and Ahmed Bhai. Nostalgia, they say, is a middle-aged illness. My dearest Central Hall, I've gathered many nuggets from the moments spent on your polished wooden desks. Let me tell you, my most joyous times in Parliament have been with you. It was never about the snack. It was never about the beverage. This was all about fellowship, friendship, bonding, decency. But before I go across the street to a new address, let me ask you, have times changed? Tell me, as you always have. Tell me frankly, has the joy de vivre diminished? Has rivalry between individuals with different ideologies turned to enmity? Do we need to bring back some of that spirit of camaraderie to parliament? Can the current top leadership of the ruling party learn about that simple virtue called decency, decency inside parliament and outside parliament, central hall. Can he request an Arun Jetli or an Amit Patel or a Sushma Swaraj from the happy place they are in? to send a group message on WhatsApp to the current honchos, giving them a few tips. Central Hall, don't look at me blankly. Don't turn away. Answer me. Answer me. <laughs>